Jesus is the way, be it in the town or country or the busy avenue. Africa or Asia, the task is up to you, so be a missionary every day. Tell the world that Jesus is the way, the Lord is soon returning, there is no time to lose, so be a missionary, God's own emissary, be a missionary today. Let's pray. Our oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for each of life that is now about to do our children's song. Oh, Lord, please get us and protect us, help us to understand what you are going to be telling. Lord, for those who are at home and here in, and here in, uh, here in church, Lord, please Lord, get us and protect us, help us to understand. Help them to understand us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Welcome to today's sermon presented by the junior class. This month, our theme has been Gospel in Change. Today's topic of the sermon is Paul before the council from the book of Acts chapter 23. My name is Lincoln and with me are Javan, Michelle, and Emmanuel. Last week we saw Paul speaking to the Jews in Jerusalem. Before they got mad and wanted to kill him, what else happened, Javan? The Roman commander put Paul in chains. Ah, and what happened next? Before he was whipped, Paul told the commander that he was a Roman citizen. And the commander called the Sanhedrin to listen to the accusations against Paul. Thank you for that wonderful reminder, guys. Children, get your Bibles and open the book of Acts chapter 23. Today we start with Paul being in front of the Sanhedrin. Javan, who are the Sanhedrin? The Sanhedrin were a, were a group of council, council elders who are, religious, who are religious leaders of the Jews. They were divided into two people, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. That is very true. Paul began to speak, but the high priest asked some people to hit him on the mouth. Why do you think he said that? Ananias did not want to hear the testimony of Jesus. Ah, and what happened next, Emmanuel? The high Paul called the high priest a whitewashed wall. A whitewashed wall, which meant that he was a hypocrite. He would ask other people to see. He would ask other people, people to see on his behalf. That is very true. But some people next to Paul asked him why he was insulting the high priest. He said that he did not know it was the high priest. Do you think he was telling the truth? Hmm, he was telling the truth, yes, because um, Paul was, was partially blind. Remember, he was hit by the light from heaven. And also, Ananias was, uh, was the new high priest. So, maybe Paul did not know him, and also, he did, maybe he did not see clearly. That makes sense. Children, we see that Paul did apologize for that. And then he said that he was a Pharisee and that he believed in the resurrection. Why did he say that? Paul wanted to cause division in the council. He knew the Pharisees believed in resurrection and the angels, but the Sadducees did not. That was a very, Paul was a very smart guy. And so what happened after that? Um, Paul told the, the, Roman, the, Roman, uh, the Roman commander was afraid that the Sanhedrin would lead your Paul. So he, he ordered his, his, his soldiers to take him to the soldiers' camp. What does this teach us today, Emmanuel? This teaches us, this teaches us that God cares for us wherever we may be. Children, this is a very good lesson to us and to the adults listening. Please tell us more about this story, Javan. Ha, huh. some of the 40 Jews wanted to kill Paul. Wanted to kill Paul. They, they made an order that they won't eat or drink anything until they killed Paul. So, they told the, the chief priest and the elders to, to, to call Paul back to the Sanhedrin so they will slay him on the way. That is very scary. I know, but God is faithful. He couldn't let that happen. Paul's nephew had the whole plan and told Paul. Who, then Paul sent his nephew to the commander. Ah, and what did the commander tell Paul's nephew? Paul's... The commander told Paul's nephew not to tell anyone what he revealed to him. And what did the commander do, Javan? The, co the commander told, sent Paul to Governor Felix with 472 soldiers. 
472 soldiers. That is way more than what our VIPs get today. But Paul was God's own VIP. God really did take care of Paul. And once they arrived at Caesarea, what did the governor do? The governor read the letter and asked Paul which province he was from and to hear the case himself. Then he put Paul back in prison and waited for the Sanhedrin to come. Wow, wow. Thank you so much, guys, for explaining the story to the children. What are some of the lessons we get from this story about Paul? One of the lessons that we get from this lesson is that we should be in missionaries for God even though we are faced with hard times in our lives. Also, we should not fear what to say because the Holy Spirit will, will tell us. And we should... And we should, and we sh and God will always protect us. Like Paul, he was happy when he, we should be happy in tough times in life. Children, those are very important lessons. God calls us to be missionaries everywhere. At home and at school, we should tell our friends about Jesus. Join us next Sabbath as we learn about what happened to, what happened to Paul before Governor Felix. For now, join us in singing. Be a missionary every day. Tell the world that Jesus is the way. Be it in the town or country or the busy avenue. Africa or Asia, the task is up to you. So be a missionary every day. Tell the world that Jesus is the way. The Lord is soon returning. There is no time to lose. So. Be a missionary, God's own emissary, be a missionary today. Let's pray. Oh Lord, thank you for this beautiful sermon, oh Lord. Thank you for everything, oh Lord. Bless us as we end the sermon. As we as we continue with the with the sermon, as we continue with the main service, please bless the pastors as they're going to say as they are going to say what they are going to say to the people out there waiting for preachings. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Till, Till next time. time. Bye. Bye.